Alessandro in New York City writes to me. Hi, Paul. Hey, Alessandro. Thanks for your very informative videos. My pleasure, sir. Thanks for watching. I, I heard you mention many times that USB cables are very noisy and therefore less than ideal for the audiophile. Could this problem be somewhat fixed by separating the data from the power on the cable? Thanks, Alessandro. Yeah, that is something that uh, I think a lot of high-end cables do. They simply take their, uh, for those of you that don't know, USB has a power. Uh, one of the, one of the uh, pins, one of the, the wires inside carries power. And that's how if you hook something up with USB and it's, you know, it doesn't have a power supply, it's powered over that little cable. So yeah, you can do that. The problem with that is many products like our DAC and things rely on the USB cable power to tell if it's connected or not. That's how we know there is a USB cable connected. We look and see if there's power on that line. We don't use that power, but we use it uh, merely to tell if there's something on there. So it's probably not the best idea to cut that off, but it does help. USB cables themselves are not noisy, but what they connect to is typically very noisy, and that is a computer. Computers are notoriously noisy. I mean, they meet minimum standards that the FCC and CE, the you know European Union, puts out and says it's got to be this level of quiet, but that ain't that quiet. And when we use USB to hook it up to our DACs, we are polluting our ground. We are polluting the DAC itself with a lot of noise, and we would rather not do that. So in our newest DAC, the uh, MK2, the Mark II, the DirectStream Mark II, we use something called galvanic isolation, where there is no physical connection at all, there's no electrical connection to the outside world, whether you're using USB or I squared S or coax, whatever. It's all completely isolated and coupling through uh, either you know a magnetic field or through uh, an electrostatic field, uh, an RF uh, transmission that goes over very very short distances, but no no grounds are connected, et cetera. And that's a very clean way of doing it, but that's an expensive DAC and that's hard to do. You can do other things. There are USB isolators out there. You can just Google USB isolator. A bunch of companies make them. Some of them are nothing more than just a little USB hub that they, uh, that, that, that they use to isolate the computer noise from this little U, uh, fr from the DAC by using a little USB hub and those are called isolators. So that's my best advice. If you're not going to go with a new DAC or you don't want to, uh, to go to all that trouble, look up a USB isolator and I think you'll be happy with the results.